For most foreigners, their initial visit to China is shocking in many ways. Its enormous population, witnessing firsthand its rapid growth to become a developed nation, its varied landscape from beautiful to bleak, but also the unbelievable pollution as a result of the rapid growth and its reputation as the land of reverse engineering, where there are more fake products than one has ever seen or thought possible. As we reported yesterday, the U.S. report, which has named China the leading place for markets selling counterfeit goods, has initiated considerable discussion on China's Internet. The United States Trade Representative Office, USTR, released the results of its 2013 out-of-cycle review of notorious markets last week. U.S. Trade Representative Michael Froman said the notorious markets list for 2013 highlights markets that allegedly harm U.S. businesses and jobs, as well as those of many other nations, by infringing on intellectual property rights. Yet, as we mentioned briefly yesterday, China's state-run newspaper, The People's Daily, said that the report lacks any authoritative survey and ignores China's anti-counterfeit campaigns and has all the hallmarks of trade protectionism. The presence of these counterfeit markets are widely visible in China, as hundreds of millions of people, both nationally and from outside of China, have encountered them, some using them quite regularly. The markets are large and known for their oddly aggressive and annoying sales staff, which can make the experience visiting one quite a challenge. The market's products are inferior knockoffs of pretty much anything you can think of, from clothing to electronics. Yet, the clothes are infamous for falling apart and the electronics are known for often not even working. What makes the huge industry almost amusing is that the major global brand names these markets are stealing are frequently not even spelled correctly. We would like to give you a broader idea of how Chinese net users view this large and illegal industry. And to take a closer look at this issue, let's cross over to the newsroom and our researcher, Julia Liu. Julia, first off, how do net users react to the result of this report? Do they agree that China is the biggest market for counterfeit products in the world? Well, based on the comments I've seen, I have to say, well, few people are really on the side of People Daily at this time. Although the Ministry of Commerce criticized the report, saying that it lacks a strict methodology or evidence, while many Chinese posters seem to think that seeing is believing. While a survey on Tencent.com shows 90% of more than 160,000 posters believe that China is the biggest market for counterfeit products in the world. While some posters have responded to the markets in China that were singled out in the report as a key sources of counterfeit goods. For example, the silk market in Beijing and the government wholesale center in Guangzhou, which the USTR said were key contributors to counterfeiting in China and worldwide. Well, this poster, uh, Fei Xiang de Xiaoyang, has said this to say on Tianya.cn. Well, as far as I know, quite a number of the visitors in the silk market in Beijing are also foreigners who have come to China, say, on a business trip. Well, that shows how famous this place is. And uh, Li Duo as on iPhone.com. Well, a real LV bag that sells for $1,000 in the States will only cost you $65 for a counterfeit one here. Won't you be attracted? Well, uh, Liao Liao comments on the review of the notorious markets on QQ.com, and he says, Well, it's the wise choice for China to accept what the report says about us, because it is the truth. Well, maybe not everything made in China is fake, but uh, let's face it, from food, clothes, to medicine. Well, in China, we are used to seeing a lot of counterfeit products in our daily life. Well, only by facing the truth first can we make the first step towards the proper solution. So, Julia, what do Chinese net users really think about the existence and sheer scope of the counterfeit products seen in China? Well, on this issue, I have to say that one phrase that's been frequently mentioned here is that uh, uh, there wouldn't be a market if uh, there wasn't the need from customers. Well, by saying that, I mean, in fact, many Chinese find the existence of uh, these counterfeit products quite reasonable. For example, a uh, horse comment on QQ.com represents quite a few posters here. And he says, well, I admit that the report tells the truth, but I don't think this should be something that China should be entirely blamed for. Well, there's a need for such products worldwide. And I think the fact that uh, these products are popular also shows how great the profits these companies make from the real products here. Uh, meanwhile, another poster on uh, BitBlockChina.com here listed several reasons of uh, why counterfeit products are popular in countries like the U.S. 
Well, uh, there is a report that says uh, most of the customers that buy counterfeit pro uh, products in the States know exactly what they are buying, which shows the need. And this is a fact that uh, some counterfeit products made in China are uh, of better quality than those made in the States. Well, however, uh, 10K, uh, one Yip, doesn't think uh, uh, being reasonable equals being the right thing. Well, he has this comment on Tencent.com. Uh, there are indeed many subjective reasons that result in the popularity of counterfeit products. But uh, if the counterfeit products uh, stay the same, while people don't change their co consumer habits, well, then it will cause many troubles higher up. For example, top designers for luxury brands and writers who make a living from royalties will be the victims. So there will be little incentive for people to be creative. Right. Well, what this poster mentions echoes what the report indicates, too, that these markets hurt legal businesses and jobs by infringing on intellectual property rights. So have Chinese net users come up with any suggestions on this issue? Well, on this issue, in fact, many people believe that uh, the popularity of counterfeit products has a lot to do with the lack of regulation and punishment for these companies. Well, Jiu Hui Sha Le says on Weibo.com. Well, the basic reason that there are so many counterfeit products made in China is that uh, there hasn't been strict enough uh, punishment for the producers of these products. In one case, the boss of a company who produced a counterfeit phone charger, uh, which hurt the consumer who, who bought it, only ended up uh, getting detention at a police station. And this poster, uh, 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 Jody Mars, has another suspicion to share. Well, I think some local governments choose to protect these mar uh, markets rather than cracking down on them. Why? Because they are able to hand in uh, huge amounts of revenue, and it helps a lot for the local government to reach their tax quota every year, doesn't it? Well, finally, I'd like to wrap up with uh, this comment on QQ.com. Well, despite all the criticism, we have to admit that China has done quite a bit on the crackdown of counterfeit products recently. But it's also the truth that uh, there's still a long way to go for China to get rid of the title, largest market of counterfeit products. Some interesting views on China's huge counterfeit industry. Thanks, Julia. And that was China Take researcher Julia Liu with a look at the recent USTR report. Next up on China Take, some of the top trending phrases on China's most popular search engines.